So let's go over how you can use Inkscape to delete part of an image. On my screen here, I have this example image opened up, and for this demonstration, I will be removing the zebra from this image, so the result will be an area of transparency where the zebra currently is. In order to accomplish this, I'm going to be creating a vector path in the shape of my subject that I'd like to delete, and then I'll be creating an inverse clipping path out of it. So let's go over how you can do this. So in order to create a shape over my subject here, I'm going to custom draw a shape using the pen tool. Let me zoom in. I'm going to hold control and roll up the mouse wheel a couple of times to zoom in. I'm going to grab the Bezier pen, which is located over here, or you could press the letter B on your keyboard. And the setting that I'm going to use for this particular subject here is this setting up here that says create B spline. And once that's done, I'm just going to zoom in over here and I'm going to move the page around by pressing down the mouse wheel and moving the mouse. And I'm going to begin clicking to create points around my subject here, as you can see here. Now that wasn't very accurate, so let me undo that. If you want to undo the points that you create at any point, you just have to press Control Z. I'm just going to go and create a outline around my subject using the pen tool like this. And with this setting, with the B spline setting, you'll see it automatically makes the lines curved. But if at any point you want to make a straight line, I mean a, a sharp corner like you see here, all you have to do is hold shift and click, and then it creates a sharp corner as you can see there. So I'm going to go through here and I'm going to draw my lines like this. I'm going to hold shift, put a point here, continue along the inside of my path here, and I'm just going to go around this entire subject and trace an outline. And once you're finished drawing your line, you can connect it back to the starting point like that to close the path. And now we have our shape going around the subject here. Now let me fill this in with a color just so we can see it. I'm going to use the color green here. And I'm going to get rid of that outline. I'm going to hold shift and click on this little red X down here. And now we have a subject that we can use to delete part of our image. Now the thing is, if we use this object and create a clipping mask, what it's going to do is the opposite. It's going to delete everything except for the zebra. So we want to create the inverse of that or an inverse clipping path. Now Inkscape has an inverse clipping path setting built in, but unfortunately it only works with vector objects. So in order to do this with a rasterized photo like we have here, we're going to have to do this manually. So let me grab the selection tool. Let me click off of the graphic to deselect everything. I'm now going to create a rectangle in the size of this image here. I'm going to click on the image and I'm going to go to edit, copy, and then I'm going to grab my rectangle tool and I'm going to click and drag to create a rectangle like that. And I'm going to make this a different color than the color we just used. I'll just go with blue for now. And then I'll go to edit. Uh, we're looking for paste size and paste size. And now I'm going to grab the selection tool. And with this rectangle selected, I'm going to hold shift and click on the image so you have them both selected. And then I'm going to open up the align and distribute menu, which is over here on the right. If you don't have it opened, you can press control shift and A on the keyboard or you can come over to where it says object and select align and distribute and the menu should open up over here on the right. Now with this menu open, I want to make sure I have last selected chosen and then I'm going to center this up on the vertical and horizontal axis like that. And now I'm going to click off of it to deselect everything. I'm going to click on just the blue, the, uh, the blue square here and I'm going to lower this beneath the green object that we created. So I'm going to come up here to this menu where it says uh, lower selection one step, press that and it should lower it beneath the object we just, we just drew. And now I'm going to hold shift, click on the object so we have them both selected, and go to object, or no, I'm sorry, path, and go to difference. And now we have this right here. So now what we can do is we can click and drag over everything and go to object, clip, set clip. And just like that, we have deleted part of the image by creating a clipping mask. Now, the good thing about this is that it's non-destructive, meaning you can undo this at any point. If at any point you want to uh, put the uh, deleted part of the image back to where it was, just select the image and go to Object, Clip, and go to Release Clip, and there you go. Now you're back to where you started with those objects as they are. So I think that should do it for this lesson. That is how you can use Inkscape to delete part of a pixel-based rasterized image. If you found this lesson useful, then consider checking out my Inkscape Masterclass. It's a collection of over 60 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Inkscape and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. Kind of like how I did in this video. We even have a private community where you can ask questions and get help from me anytime you want. And best of all, there's no monthly membership fees. You just pay $17 one time and you're in for life. I'll have some information about that down below if you want to check that out. As always, thanks for watching.